We just got all the bait we need for probably about three weeks now. Fancy fishermen here, baby. We're doing some bait hauling today. Our freezer's running low. We've had, you'll see some videos. We've had a good two run, two, uh, we've had a good two week run of tunas. Um, eating up all our bait. So now we got Brucey over here. A little bait boat. We got the 100 foot bait net on the front. And then I got the big boat here with the coolers and ice and everything ready to go. And luckily today the bait is pretty close to home. Um, literally like a two minute cruise over to get bait. And then we're just going over to the bay over here past this rock. So yeah, you guys get to see some bait holding today. Yeah, so basically the bait's up there. <laughs> on this beach here nice and black you'll see what bait I'm talking about in a second hog mouth fry and pilchards just putting a towel over the cleat so the net can run out smooth off the front this is our little bait boat we use she comes in handy on the inside yeah yeah so, like right here on the edge of the shadow right but in the shadow a lot right where that little bait right here like right in the middle of the pond. so I'm gonna start you where up here yeah. you're gonna have to walk in a little bit ready yeah. where's the bait right here okay go starting to run Net I got left. Oh, yeah, bro. Don't pull any more. Okay, I'm coming to you. A lot of big fry, bro. Let me come up. A lot of fry. Easy. Nice. Okay, wait up. Let me get the leads in. I might be stuck on something. No, no, it should be shallow. Just go on the inside of the net. A lot of fry. Let's go. Let me know when I'm out. A lot of fry. Yeah, I'm pulling. You think that should be the only rock? Let me get the leads in a little bit. <laughs> She's black, Brucey. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, let me go back and look what we got, ladies and gents. Put the net around. Good set. It's all back here in the bunt. Let me go walk in the net a little bit. Yeah, we got a lot of bait at the back of the net. Okay, we need to get our leads in, Brucey, more than anything. Let's get the leads in. Catch your leads up. How far are you up? It's a little bit weird because the waves are coming towards us. So we want to get mainly leads in first. Come back on the beach. Leads, okay. Your corks, your corks. They're going, they're going out the back. Pull corks. And a little bit of bunt. Okay, get it all together like me, Brucey. Just in one hand, look. Everything underneath. Hi, Jess. Yeah. Let's get our leads in now. Corks a little bit over the top, look. Pull, it, pull them over the top. Like, get everything in one hand, look. Okay, now you need everything in one, like me, yeah? Everything in one. A lot of bait. Just get everything in one. And we meet halfway. There we go. Perfect. Let's go. Pull your side, your corks a little bit. That's a lot of fry. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, look at that. Woo. I don't know if you can see in there, but that's all nice, fresh bait. Let's go. Okay, bring it over this way a little bit. Actually, pull all your shit. Nice, okay, you go get everything. Yep, I got everything right here, bang. Yep. Okay, go get a, get a bucket, basket. Bucket, basket. And let me just dump it all in the SSI. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, so that's basically it. All in the span of three minutes. We just got all the bait we need for probably about three weeks now. A lot of bait. Nice fry and pilchards mixed up. Oh, there's bait, baby. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, there's a whole nother hole over there. So let's get this ready. Let's get that, get this ice down. And then there's a whole nother nice little hole over there. Maybe get another cooler. Yeah, but they're not huge, which is nice. Okay. 
Yeah, so you see what Brucey's doing here. We, we get some bycatch in it, but we always throw it back. Whatever we're not aiming for, all the grunts and snappers and stuff, we make sure to throw them all back. We just want what we're coming for and that's it. Make sure everything else lives. Look at all this bait, folks. Filling up baskets. This is how we do it. A little 100 foot net so we don't have to continuously go cast and stuff like that. We just get one big, one big go at it. And what's out there? Look at this, we got a nice little berry. Throw him back to live another day. Yeah, so we got a nice little basket of bait here already. Clean, Still got all this. I thought there would have been like moss and shit inside of it. It's pretty clean, isn't it? Nice bait for a chum though on the on the bank for tunas and stuff. How big the fry is this? Huge fry here, folks. Let's go. Dump that one in the uh, cooler. Look at that. No, this is our hogmouth fry that we have in Bermuda. It's not a anchovy or pilchard or anything. It's a different type of bait, but every single fish in Bermuda loves it. That's why we target it. So this is the uh, the first little hole we're taking out. We got a little cooler here full. We got that basket full, and we still got about double if not more than what we have here so really good start for our first hole of the day let's go nice bait yeah you can fit two more of those here very nice tunas are gonna like that it's fresh too oh she's heavy nice half of 150 it's got some ice on that because it will go bad quick in the summer Oh shit, I just turned the camera on. <laughs> nice bait. All right guys, so basically all that fry is uh, in the coolers and stuff iced down. And we see some more along the beach. So what we're gonna do is what we usually do, we're cleaning the net out as well as making another secret hole. There's a bunch of fry up on the beach here. So I'm just gonna slowly walk around it. Go in the middle, Bruce, and pull some for me. Go. Go in the middle of the net, it just makes it easier. I'm gonna slowly walk it around and see what we get. Yeah, a lot of fry up in this corner. Pilchard's running in now. Yeah, I'm gonna curl. Yeah, I'm curling. Wow, this might be bigger than the one before. Yeah, we got too much. <laughs> like, no lie. Darn it. Let me just see. I don't think we can fit all this bait, folks. Got too much in the net. Yeah, let's hold it and see what we get. A Little bit of extra bait don't hurt anybody. And you always need bait to catch fish, so start pulling the leads. Yeah, just leads. Yeah, there's a lot in here. <laughs> Gotta get your leads, Brucey. Just leads, just leads. Okay, come up to me just like before, pull your corks. See how, that's why I have it in one, see how I get everything over each other. Corks, pull your corks, catch up. Yeah, perfect. Nice, that's how you do it, ladies and gents. Just walk down the beach and we got <laughs> another cooler full. That's probably worth it. Yeah. 30 bags, 40 bags. This is the last of the fry, that little hole we did. Wasn't anything major, but it was enough. Probably got 20, 25 bags in there. At the shop, this bait's costing us $15 a bag, so you do the math, 25 times 15. Saving a lot of money. <clears throat> That's about it, folks. We're just literally, what we're doing now, we're just pulling the net out. Make it easier for us to pick up uh, in the bait boat and it gets some of the excess bait out so it doesn't stink it up when we pack it away. So it's nice and easy to pick up. <laughs> and this is the not so fun part of the job. Picking, picking the net up and cleaning it out. Thought it was gonna be dirtier though, it's not that bad. No, it's like, it's, it's like seaweed that's stuck to the bottom so it ain't coming out probably. Three, three for recording. Right, as you can see, we got to work a little bit um, off camera, but basically we got back, Bruce cleaned up the bait boat over there. And then we just bat, put the fry oil in the basket again, dry it out. And now we're just, this is how we bag it up. Get a little bucket, get our plastic bags. Just drop those on the ground. And then once we're done bagging up about 20 or 30 bags, we'll go and tie them. Put them, put them on ice for about three or four hours, get them nice and cold, and then 
straight in the freeze, my boy. Yeah, ice, ice, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ice, ice, yeah. See it all on my wrist. Might hit your bitch, she might type, yeah. Popping on 